we're on our way to the grocery store. Uh, the grocery stores are definitely a little bit different here. And um, I don't want to do too much footage there just because I'm going to be respectful of them and sensitive of that. And they have people in every aisle that watch you. And so I'm going to try to get a little bit of footage though for you guys. Um, just to show you the difference between uh, the grocery store here that we have and the grocery store we're used to in America. Hey everybody, it's April, and on this channel, you'll find a little bit about homeschool, family, God, and living life overseas. If this sounds good to you, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. That's cool. This is the nice bridge they just built, which we're really excited about. So you have smooth for just, you know, a couple seconds. So honking in Haiti isn't rude. Uh, people honk all the time. It's just kind of like, hey, I, I'm here. Uh, I'm letting someone know you're coming by, especially all the motos. This is a really light traffic day. There's many times that this is completely covered. It's because it's a Sunday. Beep. Biggest vehicle always wins here. There's no question. Beep. And motos just usually weave in and out of traffic. Kind of, it just has its flow. It's kind of like a river and you just flow through it. So we're getting close to our grocery store. It's an area we call Kashime because it's a little circle area roundabout. And one of the grocery stores we go to is right over there on the left. It says Star Market. And then the other one is up here and it's called Kaorio. There's the roundabout up there to the left. And there is our grocery store right here, the green and yellow building. So our grocery store has about five or six aisles and it is with a lot of foods with, of course, foreign labels. But we do find occasional items every so often that we recognize and we get excited. This is where we get our cheese. This is the refrigerated section. As small as it is, we're really thankful for it. They get really big blocks of cheese and then they cut them up and, and saran wrap them and then you buy them like that. They actually do that with other things in the store from chips and these spices. Um, they'll put them in little containers or little baggies, you know, in the store, in the U.S you can't get away with that kind of thing but you can do that in Haiti and so they'll repackage a lot of different um, items jams jellies coffee all kinds of stuff peanut butter is very popular here in Haiti so there's a lot of different Haitian brands and homemade brands from local areas in Haiti this is more of the packaged crackers and chips and such that they have for people to buy and so yeah that's our store guys it's not too big but we're grateful for it and it's a lot of processed stuff but again we're thankful for what we can find here and uh, this is the upstairs it's it's this is our Bad Bath & Beyond our Walmart <laughs> section of our grocery store and we are so happy to have this because it's the only place that I know of in our area because we're four to six hours away from port so we pay with goods here in Haiti and a lot of people will actually start off with Haitian dollars and then you have the times whatever the Haitian dollar price is for instance this little cart said 790 Haitian dollars so I know that I have the times that buy five for goods 3900 goods I'm gonna pay about forty six dollars we're leaving the store back home now So I just want to show you really quick, this is our market produce that we get every week. I might need your help, babe. I believe these are our zaboka, our avocados. <clears throat> Am I correct? Yeah. yeah, they're huge here as you guys can see. And they're so good. We go through so much avocados each week. And then, let's see what's in here. This feels like... Bananas. Bananas. Dude, they look like they're bananas. They're soft you got already. Abrico. Abrico. A lot of abrico. Sweet. Yeah, I asked her to pick up three. All right. Well, you got three. Sweet. Ah. Three abrico. Uh, I got some 
This is one of my favorite fruits here in Haiti. Some more Merlot en France. There's oh, Asian yeah. pineapple. So much. Oh, the fruit here, guys, is just so much better. It's so good. And I don't like melon in the States, and I actually like the melon here. Melon? This is more like honeydew, I guess you would call it. Is that? Okay, yeah. That's well, I don't even like honeydew in the States, and I still like it here. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. This is our vegetables. Yeah, so that was fruit. Okay, mm. that is a smelly, like, detergent <laughs> stuff. Probably something for outside. Whew, well, that is not for us. strong. Okay. Um, garlic, which we, <laughs> let me just show you guys <laughs> how much garlic we still have. We go through so much garlic each week. And babe, do you remember what these are called? Nope. We use these every week. Looks almost like a chicken drumstick, doesn't it? But it's a root vegetable. We, she puts them in stuff. I just forget what they're called. Um, let's see what else. So these are and plantains. plantains. She makes banan pesé with them. So you guys probably and wonder chips. why we have a metal trash can on our kitchen counter, but um, when we cook every day, um, they and us put any food scraps left over in here, and then we take it out to our compost at the end of the day. This is all sequon. Sequon. So, oh. ooh. so we don't have limes or lemons here, um, but what they do have are these it's sequons. Like key limes. And I just feel like they're almost like it's like a mixture between the two. They're so good. All right, coconuts. <laughs> Yeah, which they call cocoye. This is some, mm. you know, a bunch of different things. Some celery, some green onion. Green onions. And Do they call that something different here? Because I didn't know they had those. Because I'd like to pick up some just for my own stir fries throughout the week. Yeah, I need to ask I, I'll have to figure out what they're called. But yeah, it's, it's literally green onion. And then some pimo pique in there. Uh, spicy peppers. Oh, look at all that. Some oranges, which are not... Orange. So guys, what's funny is like this doesn't look like celery, right, babe? I mean, it yeah. is. Their celery looks almost like a cilantro or something different, but then when you smell it, it smells just like it's celery. celery. It's funny. So then there's these. These are we their oranges, we and we get tons of them. Um, their oranges are this color, and they're so good. When you make fresh orange juice here, yeah. it's really this light. This bag is oranges. It's really light and refreshing. Oh, it's not heavy at all. It's just so good. These look like potatoes onions. or onions. Oh yeah, onions. I did ask her I think to pick up more onions because I want to be fermenting some. Mm, so I, that's probably why there's a lot. Uh, cucumber. Oh. Cabbage. Have we gotten cucumber before? Yeah. What does she put cucumber in? That little cucumber salad that she makes sometimes oh, that okay. you don't like. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, what's in here? What are? Oh, they? those little itty bitty onions. I forget what they're called. Oh, the little purple ones. Yeah. Oh, I want to show them. Let's see if we can open it real quick. It looks real loose. Oh, there we go. I think I actually have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Maybe they're not purple. Sometimes they are. There we go. Yeah, a little bit. You that can really see. Really good tasting. Cabbage. And then what else was in here? Are these Sorry. potatoes. I don't know what those are. I'm know. guessing because we needed, I think, some more potatoes, and it looks like a big yep, thing potatoes. of potatoes. Yep. Y'all know what potatoes look like, so we're not going to open that up. And then my guess is that's carrots. No. Yeah. It's... Carrots are really huge here. Let's show them. Right. It's hilarious how big the carrots here are, which I just fermented some carrots last week. And did, I, did the boys like them or no? No, but that's fine with that's me. That's when you're like, I'll eat them all. I'm fine with that. Sorry. I can never get these bags open. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, Jim will show you. The carrots are pretty big here. Like, look how f they're short and fat here. It's so funny. <laughs> like, oh, this one's pretty fun looking. Yeah. So that's our carrots. And so then, yeah, I think so that's it. Some... We buy our flour, salt. Not salt, sorry. I do buy my salt in bulk. <laughs> I actually have to bring that in. But our flour, our rice, and stuff like that in bulk. And we store them in these containers to keep out bugs and critters and so then they have these lids on them which I just put this on pretty tight because I just got some rice out Let's see if I can get it with one hand here we go so then the lids come off there's our rice in there and we get Haitian rice because we would rather support the local Haitians and also we believe it's healthier than the bleached rice which a lot of it is imported and then in here, 
is water. <laughs> so I'll show you why we have water in here. And then, you know what, we might not even, where is our flour? She still makes, we don't use as much flour now because I, I can't have it, but she still makes biscuits and bread for the boys. Maybe we're out, oh, I forgot, we keep flour in the freezer. So let me show you guys. And here, that bucket right there, that's our flour, and that is to help. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't get grossed out. Any bugs that are in it to not keep growing, and we have to sift through it all to get the bugs out when we do do it. So, and then we buy our beef and freeze it in here. Um, we check when people are um, slaughtering animals, and then we buy them that way. So the reason why we have that water bucket is because we have this Berkey water filter, and it purifies and filters our water, and so we pour in the bucket of water at the top, and then it filters through. So that's how we keep it there. So that's it.